Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, with our Mad Science update for today. Orangutan alarm calls may reveal origins of the first words in the human language, scientists say. Oh, brother. <laughs> scientists starting an alarm calls for orangutans believe they may have revealed the Origins of the first words of, in the human language. What the hell is it? Alarm call some monkey have to do with us. The kiss squeak noises, I swear. The kiss squeak noises which primates make to alert others contain much more information than previously thought. Oh my god. Previously, theories on speech evolution have focused on vowels. The noise is consonant like sound, suggesting that human ancestors may have combined similar noises to make early syllables and words. Uh, idiots. How many languages are there on this planet? I have no idea, but there's a whole lot of them. <laughs> They're all from different idiots. Serge Witch, a professor at Liverpool's John Moore's University and the co author of the study published in Nature Human Behavior told BBC Radio for today program that the noises contain an enormous amount of information from the gender of the orangutan to what context it is made in. The orangutans have also learned foot so that leaves them or in front of their mouths to change the noise. Professor Witch said, explained that the finding was interesting because the researchers had previously assumed that the amount of information would be available, would not be available in a consonant. It's not a consonant, they're monkeys! We are very used to studying vowels and primates, and those have been building blocks of our series, theories in spe speech evolution, he said. A lot of the vowel sounds are very common in a lot of primates, and the constant vowel sounds seem to have less information in them, so we just studied them less. He said the new research showed the information in the constant like sounds were essentially the same as vowels. He concluded it is likely orangutans started to combine the two and maybe human ancestors combined those to repeat the same information. That is bullshit. That might be the start of early syllables and words. So now we learn how to talk from the monkeys. I think I did another mad science uh, update on that. Now, I'm going to scroll up here, not to get off the topic, topic, to show you how nuts these people are. The beastie on the left, I already dealt with. Uh, now look on the right. Circle, uh, not going to happen. Fish with lobe fins, the precursor of legs, uh, right. Lives around 418 to 80 million years ago. To be honest with you, kind of almost looks like a bullhead, but, uh, well, no, nah, not a member of the catfish family. Unbelievable. Anyway, they're saying this is your great, 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 whatever, grandpappy, this fish. And this other uh, nasty looking beastie, which I already dealt with. They're nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. 
Why in the hell should these people even get any research money if they're going to do crap like this? I mean, why do they get paid to monkey around? That's what I want to know. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. <laughs> From the kook parade today. Thanks for watching.